kind of roll this. I have like another 15 minutes. So like, so like before define, uh, like we define initially we define all the sheets and all the volumes. Then we start adding the things and smooth and blend it nicely. Like soft transition. Another sphere. Now what I'll do is just basically combine these two and dynamic the once again. Add depth first, then add volume. The collar bone.
Gap. There's a gap between two collarbones. Just like this wide the OZ. There was female next a little narrow. Little narrow and just wide. Well, object MRTG. Yes, RTG. Yes, like whenever I'm creating something with like a stylized or something like cartoonish, I try to create mask and add all the like, paint and all that makes my life a little bit easier in work and 
and I want to make it like this. I can see this line is a little blur, so I want to make this mask really sharp. Let's go to masking. Where is the mask? Masking. Take sharp and mask. Sharp with blur. Okay. Let's see what happens. This is something I can modify later also. Change, add, data. Fill out that. Do it. Really easily. It should be slightly darker. Yeah, it's much better. So just to get the appearance and look and feel of the character, so I uh, try to add a little bit color in initial state. I try to add a little bit color in ZBrush and like eye place eyeball and poly paint it so that it looks like that uh, start looking like that character and it it gives you the like feeling of like okay like you have done something and it looks start looking like that particular character also. So that's what I like personally uh, my personally I prefer to create that. Zero. Now I can uh, like mask. No RGB control. No RGB. I don't want any RGB. Three hands. First, we see the shape, then I minus it to make it look really nice and clean and sharp. Get pointy. Kind of fine, maybe point three zero three. Accept it. Go to full black. MRGB full black. And I can see like this mesh is not very clean. There are lots of uh, like uh, polygroups and issues and all. So what I uh, prefer to do is shift, uh, oh, sorry, shift F and isolate this one. which so will check polygroup. So I can see the multiple polygroups. So what I have to do is I control shift, click on this, hide. One section and you should drag control W. So it will create one single solid polygroup. Then hide it, hide this one, hide the border. Hide the border. Control W. Now you have this one, and this one is the border, which is W, one single poly. So now you have two, three, <coughs> or like three clear polygroups, but as geometry you can see, it's not uh, it's quite messy. So what I prefer to do, I'll go to geometry, z measure and switch on my keep groups. So based on my group, it will create proper nice uh, topology and it will retain this polygroup. 5,000, five is basically 5,000. And you can see it becomes really clean, smooth. I can reduce this to like maybe three. Two, three times uh, the image 
because you know you may this entire sheet is really clean and the like edges are slightly wavy that is something you can fix by good deformation polish by feature so basically smooth it, smooth out your all the edges or you can just simply polish it slightly but it basically makes everything round that's something i don't want i want to keep it like this thick just as yes. B and B, smooth brush, and now I'm going to simply place it. Let's align it nicely the way I want. Can move it slightly. Slice the movie here. Fix it. Make it a little bit more angular. Nine. Now I can like start adding all the details, like uh, the defined <coughs> cheekbones, even for the lips, nose, and all other parts. I add a little bit of hair. So something like uh, try it, uh, try this thing out. And we'll add more details and other uh, stuff, and slightly uh, like uh, change the uh, pose, maybe some like rotate the head or slightly. So basically, uh, uh, with this uh, practice, you'll understand how to work in ZBrush and like how you create a model and how you create how you pose it and how you uh, plan your texture and like plan everything. So the entire process I'll be explaining with this. Then we'll start our actual uh, model. Practice this. And do it. And this is something like uh, you can like I mean, you can see it's, it's not very difficult. This is something you can do it very easily. Still, I just I just I feel this jaw is a little wide. So I think I have to fix that. Wide and slightly narrow. It's more feminine, like uh, like sharp uh, jawline. 
and pointed chin very smooth chin so practice this times to now sir do we need to submit tomorrow yes of course they like, submit like uh, whatever you can try this out practice and whatever you can submit it so this entire week is for just to get the hang of the brush and understand the uh, work process and uh, try all the tools and everything so i'll be explaining so i'll be explaining all the tools and everything so uh, make sure to try it out uh, so before start, jump into the uh, like full presentation into the brush we should like uh, like do all this thing and then start doing it okay it's 12 to my next class is waiting okay i'll see you guys tomorrow same time and practice and submit because as organic is something you have to practice every day every single day otherwise it will become very difficult whatever you are creating like maybe it's going initially like this this stage is basically like known as like alien stage like its character looks like a alien it doesn't look like a human being or like a, a human or anything that's totally fine like we have to polish it clean it and gradually move to realistic stuff slowly so that's totally fine uh, start doing it practice and create and i'll see you tomorrow tata bye bye and i'll see you in the final